Hello, this is Serendid Ortiz from Cisco TAC Enterprise Switching Team. In this video, we will show you how to convert from iOS XE in install mode to bundle mode. Bundle mode is the classic method of software operation with the use of a boot statement that points to the .bin file, while install mode boots from a .com file and is the Cisco recommended booting method. We will use a Catalyst 9300 switch. However, the same procedure and commands apply for Catalyst 9200 switches. You can use these steps for a single switch in standalone mode or for a set of switches in a switch stack. The first step is to verify our current setup. Type show platform. We can see this is a standalone Catalyst 9300 switch running iOS XE 17.6.5 version. Type show version and see the line system image file. It shows flash colon packages.conf, meaning we are on install mode because we used a .conf file to boot the device. This other portion of the show version command also confirms we are in install mode. Now type show install summary and confirm the file name version section shows the state with the letter C, meaning activated and committed. Confirm the auto abort timer shows inactive. This is to verify there is no other code installation already running and that we are ready for the next step. This procedure will boot the devices into bundle mode, which means we will boot from a .bin file. Please be advised that if this procedure is performed on a switch stack, the .bin file must be copied to the flash of every switch of the stack individually. If the .bin file is not present on all the switches, this process will fail. Before copying the .bin file to the switch or switches, we may want first to free space on the flash drive by removing the .bin, .conf and .pkg files that are not in use. We can use the install remove inactive command to delete these files. The output shows first the files that are in use, which cannot be deleted. Then it will show the files that are not in use and that can be removed. Type the letter Y to confirm you want to proceed to delete these files. On this example, we will type the letter N, as the .bin file we want to use is listed in the files to be removed. If we review the flash content again, it shows we have the .conf and .pkg files used to boot into 17.6.5 and the .bin file for that same version. If the required .bin file is not shown in this output, next step will be to copy the .bin file of the new image to the flash drive. As best practice, let's verify the MD5 checksum for the bin file. For this step, please copy the MD5 checksum value from the downloads page on cisco.com. Hover your mouse over the iOS XE file name. Copy the MD5 checksum, then paste it on the verify MD5 command. When the switch finishes computing the MD5, it shows verified in case both hashes match, as in this example. If they didn't match, an error would be prompted, indicating the image is corrupt and it needs to be copied again to the switch or switches. Please check the boot variable listed for the switch with the show boot system command. Notice it is pointing to packages.conf. Go to the global configuration mode and change the boot variable with the commands no boot system and boot system switch all. Notice we use the switch all keyword. If your device is a single switch on standalone mode, then this command will detect only one switch is available and will apply the boot statement to that single switch. In case you have a switch stack, it will apply the boot statement to all switches of the stack. Exit from configuration mode and save the configuration. Check the boot variable and confirm it now shows the .bin file. At this point, we can proceed to reload the switch. Wait for the switch to boot. Once the switch boots up, please verify the status with the show platform and 
show version commands. See we are now running in bundle mode, meaning we booted the devices from a .bin file. This concludes the procedure. Please check the Cisco Tech video portal for more video content. Thank you for watching.